Well, hello, board. This is Max Myrick. I am sitting here in my kitchen, and I am going to tell you why I think that I would make a good member, or hopefully uh, make a good candidate to join the WPFW board. I have been a fan of PFW ever since I first moved out here from Chicago in December of 2000. It was the first radio station I heard uh, when I left Pennsylvania and I picked up the signal uh, coming into Maryland and uh, it was playing some great jazz. And so I followed that, kept that signal all the way into DC all over in the um, 14th street area where I stayed when I first uh, moved to the city. Uh, and I began to uh, enjoy listening to it. I moved out here to be, to create the Real Jazz Channel for XM Satellite Radio. In doing so, I met a number of people who were either at PFW who, or had formerly been at uh, PFW. For example, uh, there was um, Bill Wax, who was on our Blues Channel at XM Satellite Radio. There was uh, Dr. Nick. There was, uh, uh, I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't believe. How can I not know Willard Jenkins' name? Willard Jenkins was very helpful in introducing me to the DC jazz community and, and helping me make connections um, with the jazz community at large. So that quality of of um, hosts that you had there that were also able to go national um, were very influential to me. And, and I have a great deal of respect for all of the talent. I mean, I have worked with uh, a number of them. Kiana Faircloth was one, Katia Stitt, um, Ida, Ida Campbell, um, just any number of amazing and talented people Larry Teitelbaum, just a great, great, great staff. I love the music. I love the community, the, 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 the po political information that comes out of the uh, station. And as a broadcaster, I have been a broadcaster since 1977. I've worked in uh, New York. I've worked in Atlanta. I've worked in Chicago. I've worked in Cincinnati, Washington, DC. So as a manager on the air, um, and I've built radio stations around the country, put them on the air. And so I think as a broadcaster with that kind of experience, I can bring a unique um, point of view to any discussions about the radio station. Um, I'm sort of in semi-retirement now, so I have no interest in doing anything beyond that. But I am interested in uh, helping WPFW in any way I can, and I hope um, this is attractive to whoever makes those decisions. And uh, long live WPFW. <laughs>